Luck has run out tonight for an illegal gambling operation that authorities say has been in business in Chambers County for 17 years. Investigators tell us the game room in Baytown could be linked to others in southeast Texas. KFTM's Angel San Juan is investigating for us. And Angel, this bust has been generating a lot of interest on social media. Why is that? Well, it sure has, Greg. And first, because it managed to stay off the radar for so long and getting undercover officers inside was not easy, but most of the buzz is linked to the game room's manager, a 70 year old woman who is drawing support on social media. But the Chambers County Sheriff says it's not unusual for the elderly to be involved in this type of crime. Bubba's redneck racing parts, etc. on Highway 146 in Baytown, Gregory Williams lives nearby. Every time I pass, I've seen a lot of cars here. And it says racing stuff, so I thought they were doing, you know, stuff for racing. Chambers County Sheriff Brian Hawthorne says the business had nothing to do with speeding cars, but for 17 years, it pulled a fast one on the community. It's really what they call a private club. And if you don't know somebody or you don't go with somebody that knows somebody, you can't get in. And it's one of those where you tap on the door and they open the little hatch. And um, so we've had a very difficult time getting undercover officers in there. They finally did with help from Beaumont and Baytown police and a confidential informant. Once inside, no auto parts, but plenty of eight liners, thousands in illegal cash and fire code violations. Hawthorne suspects the game room is linked to illegal gambling operations in other counties. What we found is uh, one of the fingers to the hand that is actually the money operation. During the raid, authorities arrested the game room's manager, 70-year-old Ethel Teal. Most of these gambling eight-liner operations, they hire a lot of retired people that um, are just looking for something to supplement their incomes. And so they, they hire them and they're, they're pretty, um, you know, modest people. The elderly woman's arrest is generating a lot of online chatter. Many on social media are showing Ethel support with the hashtag free Ethel. Uh, Ethel's really a victim in her own way. Uh, it's it's really the, the, the money people that aren't there when you hit these operations are the are the uh, are the criminal element that knows that they're running an illegal operation. The sheriff says most of the patrons who were inside gambling are cooperating with the investigation. As for Miss Ethel, not so much. He calls her defiant. Gambling that's taking place in our neighborhoods is clearly illegal gambling and there's a reason the, the Texas legislature has kept gambling out of Texas. So I feel like as a sheriff it's part of my responsibility to enforce the gambling laws of the state of Texas and as long as I'm the sheriff here I will. Gregory Williams supports the sheriff's efforts because he says the problems extend far beyond these doors. All the riffraff stuff coming in and crime and stuff like that and you got to watch out for your house and all that kind of stuff. Ethel Teal is out on bond tonight, but again, as this investigation continues, more arrests are likely and other game rooms linked to the one in Chambers County could be raided. Tiffany?